Hello everyone and thank you for coming for my last and final video for tonight. Yes, thank you. Thank you to all my new subscribers, my old subscribers, and again, my su possible subscribers that are on the fence. Now, you know you need to go on and subscribe to me. Just hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And let's be connected together. Yes, for life, for life, for life. Subscribe to me. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But let's get on into this story. Celebrity Insider brought it to me tonight for a bedtime story. Yes, they did. I said, oh, let me make this last video video for tonight because it has to be out. Yes, it does. And just when I thought Kenya Moore couldn't get even even more pettier, okay? I said, well, now nah, she's going to turn the new leaf. She's doing good out on social media. She's not reporting anything stupid. She's just living life, showing her baby girl, showing off their family. Okay, that's cool. Even though I don't get too much with her trying to show off her baby. Only reason why, you got crazy people out in this world. And you don't need to be putting... Uh, baby photos out there because you got too much. You got strangers. You got people like pedophiles. You got kidnapped. You got all this stuff you got to think about. That's why people don't put their children on spotlight like that. You know, I'm just saying FYI, okay? FYI. But anyway, yes, honey, Kenya Moore dropped tea. She's going to be more sociable with us at the community at large. And she's bringing none other than her hubby supposedly, allegedly, but we're going to give it to her anyway, because we don't know. Like I said, I'm just here to give you the who, what, when, how, where, and why of the entertainment uh, celebrity realm of living. That's all I do. Whatever I take, it might not be true, but then again, it could be, okay? You make your reference. You make your opinion. You make your judgment call on whether the story I'm putting out is true or false, okay? Put your, put your opinions in the comment section. Well, be respectful. You ain't got to do all that cussing and carrying on. We don't need to be here for that. Just state your opinion and keep it moving. And you know I'm going to reply back to you. Oh, yes, I am. I wouldn't leave you high and dry. Got to give you back my opinion on what you put in the uh, comments about you having an opinion and sharing it, okay? And usually it's just to tear me down, but that's okay. I love you anyway in Christ Jesus, all right? But moving on from all of that introduction, okay, and edification, we're going to get right on into the story. Now, can you more? I'm going to say before I read the story, because you know I always take the time and we read it together, and then I give you my sidebars if I think I need to put a pause on what I'm reading to express my opinion because it might just be disturbing me and I might forget uh, before the end of the video of what I want to say and share, okay? But I'm like, okay, you're going to have this little cocktails for a cause. Cute. That's real cute. Raise money for a, a great uh, cause that you're displaying, you and your husband, Mark. But really, did you have to leave one of the housewives out? Did you have to leave one of the housewives out? Girl, come on, you don't have a baby. You're going to always have beef with this person. But that's why you own the Real Housewives of Atlanta, to bring it, right? To twirl, to twirl, to twirl, and to bring it, to twirl, to twirl, to twirl, like a tornado. Bring it, bring it. We got to twirl. We got to twirl. But yeah, you can your more damn. But then you got to be so petty. Petty, 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 petty. Girl. But let's get on in the story. And then towards the end, you will find out what celebrity reality star she forgot to invite. <laughs> okay. And you could just have petty written all over this mess. Okay. Mark, you need to check your wife, honey. You need to check your wife. Why she's not inviting this one particular person? She may have a lot of money that you're missing out on that this young lady, this woman, this OG can bring to the scene. You see what I'm saying? Just because you want to be petty. You're trying to get a cause out there. You're trying to raise money for philanthropy. Come on, girl. You need everybody's hands and wallets and purses up in them, whether they're your friend or your foe or your colleague. It doesn't matter, okay? Our money is green, all right? 
Oh, but anyway, we're going to get to the story. It was broken down by Ron Collins. He's a journalist over there. And he wrote up this article on Kenya Moore and her big announcement. Okay, let's get into it. It says Kenya Moore has an announcement for fans. It involves her husband, Mark Daly. Okay, and we cool with that. We glad to see him in the scene because he's been MIA lately. MIA. So I'm so glad he showed up and going to show out at this event. All right, moving back to the article. It says, these days, Kenya Moore has been making headlines after various rumors surfaced claiming that she and Mark Daly, her husband, are about to break up. Yes, I did stories on that. It's because, can you put it out there, okay? Had to call a spade a spade. Had to get on that and do so up. All right, mm, moving back to the article. It's been even reported by more outlets that Kenya's life and livelihood is in Atlanta, while Mark lives in New York to oversee or overlook his businesses. Okay? Yes. Business over personal. Now, who do that? Why and where and when? Okay? We need to give him a handbook called a manual of what marriage is really about. Just my pun intended. Like-minded people will agree with me, but then I know I'm going to have my haters come up in the comments and just blare me out with no even justification of why they're saying it. Then I'm going to have my... um. Fair not fair minded people, I like to call them, come up there and try to give me a debate about the situation, or at least put some uh tea out there for me to ponder about to maybe change my mind, sway me to their side. You get what I'm going? All right. Getting back to the article we have, having a long distance relationship is hard enough on its own. And recently it seems that a source told Radar Online that the model Broke down while filming a show. Okay, it was a source, a, 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 a informant, a, a plant, a, a, a do person, a person that wanted to get paid. All right, I don't know if celebrities ought to pay for their uh, magnificent stories. I don't know. They have their own informants, their own sources. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you do have to pay to play out here in these streets. Okay, but anyway, going back to the material, it says it reportedly because of some marital issues. That she and Mark had these days. Now, Kenya shared a post on a social media account, which she always do on a daily basis. She's doing something, but I don't get on to her. I don't. Only when I see infringement, infractions, I have to, you know, get her straight. Okay, whether she see my video or not, I'm sure she have people that can go say, go watch Deb Snell's Four Days World. Go on, watch her video that she tell you down. Go on and do that damn, that thing. Go on and Rip on new ass. I, you know, I'm just saying, I don't know what people be saying when they sit there to come and congregate on my channel and put all these hateful comments in the section. I don't know. I don't, it maybe gets them off. I don't know. Okay, but it doesn't change my opinion one bit. Why I order? Because see, it's my opinion and it's free. Okay, but anyway, uh, going back to the article, it says, um, Yep, she posts on her social media account, which might show that she and Mark are doing okay. And they are even hosting an event together. Okay, if you go to uh, the Kenya Moore over there on her Instagram account, I believe it is. She shows a little uh, marquee of a poster or a flyer. Uh, stating the event, where it's going to be. Uh, I can go on and tell you, it's on the 17th of September this month. It's on a Tuesday. For those who don't work late or don't work at all, you might want to catch this event and plop down some money for a very good cause. I'm giving her free ad advertisement, as you see that. But y'all say, I hate Kenya. Yeah, y'all say, I ain't got no good reason to be talking about her. But yeah, I'm giving her free publicity about her event she's having. For those who want to go out and see her and mix and mingle with her and her hubby, okay? So it's called Cocktails for a Cause. Yes, it's a... Um, I want to say it's a formal event, but they basically saying it is a semi-formal attire event. It's at 7 p.m., okay? And it's hosted by Mark Daly, okay? It's a benefit reception in honor of the Black Man Lab, a manhood development program. So, yes, all our single men, married men, professional men, labor, blue-collar type men, we all need to be down now. I don't because I'm not a man. But, okay, if I had a man that was interested and he wanted me to go, then I probably would attend with him, okay? Uh, but anyway, it is a man event. So maybe it's a man, like a millionaire, million man watch type different uh, 
format, or it could be like a, a what do you call those? 100 Men of Atlanta. Some like little dedicated thing like that. So I don't know if Kenya needs to be there or not. Uh, or any women need to be there. But anyway, go to her, her website and you should see and uh, make your own decision on where you want to go. But like I said, it is a benefit reception in honor of the Black Man Lab, a manhood development program, Tuesday, September 17th at the Wimbush House, okay, at 1150 Peachtree Street, Northeast Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. Uh, art display is going to be there, displaying art. And silent option, maybe other art. It's a VIP dinner. Uh, the artist that's going to be, I guess, selling his works. He's called CA. Okay. And it says the event is filmed for TV with Kenya Moore daily and cast members. Advanced tickets available. Okay. And it's on uh, Eventbrite. All right. General admission is $125. VIP includes dinner. Okay. For two fifty, hell, you would have thought. Now, I ain't putting salt on the, the event or anything. I ain't trying to be funny, but you still, if it's a hundred dollars or more, you should be able to get a din a dinner, can you? You only gonna feed the folks that's paying two fifty, and that's kind of shady. But I'm gonna keep my peace. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna tear it too long. I'm gonna get off of it. But that's your free publicity from me to you. Not such a bad person after all, am my guys? Okay, but anyway, D and uh. She invites everybody, Lord. She invites everybody. She says, please come, come and join me and my husband, Mark Daly, to bring awareness for a great cause, saving, elevating, and mentoring black men for official black man lab. Okay? I'm so proud to see us all come together for a great cause, powerful, strong, empowering, and humble men together in one room, supported by their loving partners. Silent option, live entertainment, con cocktails and dinner, it's just telling you to get your tickets, okay? And it's saying um, this event will be filmed by TV. Thank you. Uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, hashtag family, candy, Cynthia Bailey, 10, Eva Marcel, Portia for Real, the Kenya Moore, Todd Tucker, at, uh, Todd at 167, Mike Sterling, it's Mike Hill. Uh, you even got, uh, what you got? Portia's husband or fiance, Work Win Celebrate, Greg Leakes. Okay, Shamar, Shamil Morton, and Marlo Hampton. Then you got the Soko BK. I'm thinking that's her husband's establishment. And Paul, Paul Judge, and it's any time at a time. Okay, now my thing is, okay, <laughs> she's going to mention Eva Marcel, Mike Sterling. They're married, okay? She's going to say Portia, and she's going to say Work Win Celebrate. That's Dennis McKinley. She's going to say candy. She's going to invite Todd, okay? Uh, and Shamia Moore, you know, she don't really show her husband that much on TV, but she invited her and her best bestie, bestie, uh, Marlo Hampton, okay? And then I said she had invited Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill, okay? And then with her, uh, she was fussing uh, and making all these people her colleagues, all right? But where's Nene Leakes? Where's at Nene Leakes? Okay. Where is Nene Leakes? She didn't invite her, but she's going to invite her husband. Now, how petty can you get? How petty can you go? How low can you go? Can you? Are you serious? Do you think Greg going to come to your event and he's not going to bring his wife? Is that a big shade? Girl, are y'all doing this just for TV? And y'all we we y'all trying to goof us and you and Nene in cahoots and just want to get a laugh, laugh, kiki, and just have us come over there when it's time for y'all to uh, start showing us the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 starting to get, you know, shown. And I think it was September, November. Hell, I can't remember, but you know it always come on Sunday. So I'll catch it. You better believe I'll be catching that show. But I'm like, can you? Really? Can you? So let's read what the other people said, okay? Her commenters in her section, which she posted this on her IG account. It says, uh, here's Kenya Moore's post that she shared on IG, okay? Please join me and my husband. Okay, we, we said all of that, okay. Okay, yeah, we did all that, okay. Okay, okay, okay. As you can see, her entire captions below. Fans were really paying attention to the tags, as you will see in the comments. Okay, let's go on to these comments. That's on Kenya Moore's page, all right? I wonder if they lighten her up when she do 
fit up when she do just crazy shit like this, okay? Just to get at somebody's goat. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Just to get at they nip at their heels, okay? She knows she and Nene are both nemesis to each other. They, 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 she just did. She, and y'all don't call her out on her shit. Y'all just don't call Kenya out. But you see what she do in black and white, bold on social media, how she leave people out, okay? So they can start drama, start talking it up. You know what I'm saying? This is what Toro does. She throws a rock, biggest day, and then hide her hands, all right? But let's go on and get into her comment section. It says, one of the commenters says, so based off the tags, I'm guessing Kenya is in, is in a good place with everyone currently except for Nini and Yovana. See, I didn't even, I didn't even catch that, Yovana, okay? Somebody was better, better uh, uh, enthrust, enthrust in this, uh, uh, what do you call it, comment section. I missed that. Yeah, Yovana wasn't invited either. The one that called her said she the eat girl from Clark Atlanta, you know, trying to make Eva myself. Did she talk with Eva and did they get it together and talk of her guest list of who she was going to invite and who she was going to diss? I don't know. But anyway, let's go on back to it. Another follower or fan posted on her Instagram account. Continue to answer your calling, my sister. God bless you and your fam family. Another one commenter said, this is beautiful. And I love the vibe of you and Nisi Bricky. Uh Please entertain us daily, okay? A fan brought up Nene and posted, please add Nene Leaks. It taints your message, saving, elevating men and women. You are bigger and better than this. Now, see, that's what I'm talking about. Call a spade a spade. Somebody had to get Twirl in her place, okay? See, that's what I'm saying. Why does Twirl have to just publicly display such hatred toward her co-worker, her colleague? Come on now. A diss is a diss. But when you're trying to do something for a good cause, you want everybody's pockets involved. Your friends, your family members, your foes, your enemies, your haters, anybody. People that you don't even know and have an opinion on, you want their money too for this cause. Everything is good for philanthropy. It's called helping somebody get a head up. Okay? Get a head up, a leg up, however you want to call it. But then it says, the golden question is, do you think that Kenya and Mark are doing okay these days? All right, I see that was Celebrity Inside trying to put a little shade on that situation. Because they don't quite believe that it's kosher. They don't believe that that's, Kenya is married to that man and it's really a real union. Okay, I'm not the only one. See, I am not the only one. I'm just giving you the who, what, when, where, how in the entertainment realm of living okay but i hope y'all enjoyed the video i am about to be out say my prayers and go to bed okay but y'all hit me down in them comments let me know how y'all felt about the commentary and not just how i spent it but how i read it to you how celebrity insider got down with it see we was kind of like-minded with this we could think on several different levels and come up with different scenarios for y'all to partake of but we just do what we do and we keep it moving. But again, let me know what you thought about what I put out with the help of Celebrity Insider. And I will talk to y'all much later, tomorrow, God willing, and we'll do another video. Okay, y'all be blessed. And remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. Good night.